hello guys welcome back again in this video we will look at how we can get started with windows communication foundation wcf in microsoft visual studio 2019 um, by default wcf is not part of the um, vs 2019 so you have to actually install it yourself which is what we do basically we do it and we start our first project just to see how it all comes up so what is Windows Communication Foundation? It's a framework for building service-oriented applications. Using WCF, you can send data as, a, as an asynchronous message from one service endpoint to another. A service endpoint can be part of a continuously available service hosted by IS, or it can be hosted within an application. An endpoint can be a client of a service that request data from a service endpoint. The messages can be as simple as a single character or a word sent as XML or as a complex as a stream. So rather than just talking too much about the WCF, we can actually get started. So basically, if you've actually installed the Visual Studio 2019, then you wouldn't actually get the WCF by default. So in this case, you're gonna have to go to the, you're gonna have to open the installer again. Yeah, once you've got the installer opened, you have to go to the modify part of it. Yeah, go modify. Yeah, so it will actually open. So once the installer is opened, you go to the single component. So here you can actually install components individually. So you scroll down and you, see, you look for the Windows Communication Foundation. I have actually installed this out with that wouldn't be a problem so I'm just looking for it now or oh, I'm just gonna pause it and look for it so uh, this is where it is now right on top of Windows workflow foundation we have the Windows communication foundation so if you haven't I mean installed it so you can check this box here and then installed or download and install it like like usual with a Visual Studio installer so when you're done with that, then you can you can close this bit here, and then we come back to the um, to the Visual Studio. So here we can go about after you've installed, we can create a new project here. So once we click on that, so here if you select C Sharp, Windows, and all all project types, yeah, uh, you should get all the project types here. So basically. And as I've recently um, opened the project in the WCF service application and WCF service, so I've actually got it on this left side. So basically, what we do is yeah, we're going to up create a new w WCF service application. Yeah. So we, we click on that and we, we go next. So here, obviously, it's got all the necessary stuff that you need, and including the the, um, the framework. That you want to use so basically we're just gonna keep keep all the defaults and go to create so this should take some time so i'm just gonna pause it while the whole thing loads up then so now we have the project created now so this is a project that can that can run on is yeah so it's just a very simple application that takes um that, that returns a string, get data, and it's got all the necessary WCF. So basically, if you're not very familiar with WCF, then I've got a video on that that I suggest you can have a look at it. But obviously, I'll make a new video covering all the all the basics of WCF in this um, in, uh, later. So yeah, so now we have it created. So we've got all the usual stuff. 
so basically this this um, this video is just to get you started so I'm not gonna look I mean explain a, a lot of things inside this code yeah but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run it for you to see what actually comes out but then I can explain briefly what it's doing so we're just gonna hit F5 or, or running IS Express so I'm just gonna post the video out the hope and just run okay so when we run it yeah we get this this type of like interface so what, what is what you saying is yeah to test this service you will need to create a client and use it to call the service so basically we've actually got the service up and running but we have to create a client so that comes with that uh, the next bit so if you look at this bit here you can get additional information of, of the service that is being created but obviously that's beyond the scope of this tutorial but we will look into that later on the later video so basically I'm just gonna leave it here so if you haven't actually subscribed please make sure you do and we'll catch up again on the next video peace